Hi everyone, this is Messi Coda back again with the third and final part of my Atavism Game Dev interview. Atavism is an MMO creator for Unity, and this was taken from my live Twitch stream or the w.twitch.tv slash the Messi Coda. Every Friday and Saturday I'm streaming, and every Saturday I do game dev interviews much like this. This is a little bit different than just an interview. I'm going to show you how you can use Atavism. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. So what's uh, so, GM status? So when GM status is active, when it's active, uh, uh, the mobs won't uh, be able to attack you. They will oh, just nice. follow you and yeah. If you are creating a uh, huge world and uh, stronger mobs, you don't want to just uh, <laughs> improve your character each time and level up and get like admin armors each time. So you will just be able to toggle that GM status and pass through the uh, even the strongest bosses. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so you can also spawn some mobs, so you can uh, click on the uh, mob spawner. It should be, it should open uh, the spawner. Over there. Yeah, you can select the template uh, uh, at the top of the window. Change the select yeah, exactly. How oh, the maybe the mobs are not available. <laughs> not sure why. Actually, I broke something. I probably it's probably not been set up on my own. So how do I how do you place buildings down and stuff? Have you got? Can we can we build houses and stuff in this game? In this yeah engine? yeah you can. Uh, you can uh, uh, define uh, buildings, you can define climbs, like uh, area of lands. Uh, so in, so yeah, the, in the demo, is it set up? Yeah, it's set up. Uh, as you can see, that blue box, you oh, can yeah. enter that box uh, and just hit the uh, hammer uh, icon. Ooh. And there is an option for buy. So it requires one silver, but you can oh. as an admin, so uh, you, you can get some currency. Silver. Thank you. And I'll have loads of it, please. Yeah, it's already probably done. Yes, look at that, minted. All right, let me put my panel over here. So, requires a foundation. Um, House foundation requires iron ore ten. Okay, so let's put iron ore. Um, load of it. Is there a demo to try? Yes, Rega Steve. If you just go to Adivism's website, somebody can give me. Yeah, you go. Fresh meat's done that. Click on that, and there's a link right at the top in the hero banner to uh, to try out the demo. Now, just one thing to mention, the demo work in conjunction with the forum login. It is just, you will just use your credentials from forum. So you just go to the Atrism website, sign up, register on the forum, and then you can try out the demo. Yeah. So now, um, select an object, okay. Yes, yeah, so check the inv inventory if you have already that sticks or uh, iron ore. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Yeah. So, and you should be able to just uh, move your mouse over the window. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the building should appear. Okay. That scared me. That uh, that uh, little claim can be uh, a bit smaller for you, so yeah, but you can try to build it. Right. You can uh, create the uh, bigger one. Let's create the bigger the bigger claim because that's uh, that building was designed for bigger okay. bigger claims. So let's get the item. Uh, let's uh, generate item. Yeah. And let's uh, write the uh, claim. Yeah. Let's building. Uh, 
Land was, yeah, okay. land date, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, let's get that. Not, not Maybe not 500, yeah. <laughs> and uh, when you will just uh, move around the map and click that, then you just claim the land to the 400 meters squared. Okay. So let's done. click the hammer button. So yeah, you got that claim. Okay. Let's hit the hammer button. Oh, and okay. now the bigger, if you will scroll uh, out a bit, uh, you will sh you will see that uh, the bigger, yeah, the bigger uh, box appeared, and you can just uh, you are the owner of the bigger box, so you can just uh, yeah. Claim. That's also the new claim. As an admin, you can create new claims during the oh. runtime. So we can see you can define it's a third box, <laughs> yeah. Damn, look but at that. yeah, <laughs> why not? Oh, you yeah. are uh, land count, you know. <laughs> um, so have I just have I broken it now? Is it conflicting with all the different claims? Uh, right now there are two types of uh, claims. Uh, first is. Uh, defined as a farm and second is a, a residence and you can define uh, different uh, claims with different types and different uh, like buildings with uh, designed for different types of claims so for farm it can be uh, it can be crops or uh, corn or something like that where when you will have to just uh, water it up and uh, it will grow, and at the end of the oh, the nice. last stage, at the last stage of the like, for example, building, because it's almost similar as building, but it's growing over time. Uh, you will be able to just uh, gather the the crops. So you've got the crops growing. You can harvest them. All that working out of the box, standard in atavism. Yes, it is. Is it synced up to work with the environmental weather? So when it rains, the the crops are growing. And no, it's basically that you are just uh, have to you just have to to uh, for example bring some uh, materials or in this example like uh, uh, fields you can bring the water to the uh, to the field and just water it up and it will grow. Then it will grow. So. Uh, like for example, right now you build a building, but it's a first stage. It's a foundation, so we can upgrade it. And yeah, you need uh, wooden stick and uh, iron ore. And if you will put that uh, uh, required required uh, items into these uh, boxes, then you should be able to upgrade it. It's the same uh, logic, like uh, it's the same logic for for um, uh, fields. Yeah. Oops. Also, there is a weight uh, weight bar. So uh, above your your character avatar, you have uh, health bar, mana bar, and weight bar. It's basically oh, you can yeah. you can define the weight of the item. So each item can have uh, its own weight. And when you are overweight, you will, for example. Uh, slow down your character by some percent percentage or some value or apply any other effect because you can apply any other effect and basically slowing down is an effect. All right, so exclamation mark raffles in chat to get yourself a hundred dollars worth of store credit for atomism. Oh, look at the sun coming up. It's beautiful. So what is on the horizon? What's next? What's the next big inter uh, plugin? That you guys are working on. So uh, now we are working on uh, puff funding. Uh, it will be, if, uh, I should say, almost the the biggest update in Atavism, uh, because right now uh, mobs are moving That's from it. point A to B, and just uh, server doesn't have a collision on itself. So uh, we will include uh, a puff funding system based on. Uh, probably uh, mesh path funding, not mesh, uh, and it will be the major uh, general general uh, update uh, uh, probably uh, in July this year. Uh, 
Oh, nice. Uh, but also on our uh, on our roadmap, uh, we have uh, socketing, enchanting, and sets of armors. It will be probably uh, introduced in uh, uh, one update. Uh, and also, uh, as I mentioned before, we got uh, auction house. So yeah, we got plenty of work to do. <laughs> um, Daddy's Daddy Daddy. I don't know. Is that a smiley face? Um, thank you for the follow, Daddy. Maybe you should work on the run mechanic. What's wrong with the run mechanic? Is there an, is there an issue? Uh, actually, I think it's. Uh, mm, uh, it's basically the animations, right? So, uh, because that uh, Yuma character is uh, running really funny. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, so these legs are spread like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like a frog or something, so. Yes, but we are limited also by, but in this demo, it is what is available for free or what was given to us. Yeah, I mean, so basically, yeah. So basically, you can you can adjust, you can uh, attach any animations you have. So, if you have like uh, medieval props animations from the asset store, you can attach these animations here, and uh, the character won't won't run so funny. You can adjust also uh, the avatar, the bones of the character. It's basically uh, adjusting the Unity uh, client stuff. Uh, Ooh, the raffles, the raffles come to an end. So anyone who didn't get your your raffles in, if you didn't get your exclamation mark raffle in this time, you have one chance left in the next raffle. You got one chance left to get your name down. If you didn't put your name down this time, if you didn't put your name down this time and you want to be in, naughty. But yeah, I'll give you one more chance. Um, so yeah, this is this is a demo. This is not a here is a load of content for you to make your game with. It's um, his stuff to basically to help you get started to learn how to use activism, I guess. Yes, yeah, so it should help you just to understand. And if you can't find something, you know, how it should work, so you can always go to this demo and see how it's done there. And based on that, you can just kind of copy this to your project. All right, let's, let's announce the winner. Who is the winner going to be? Oh, I'm all a tingle. Let's click the button. Oh, my word. Okay, the person who I said is going to pick the lottery winners numbers for us. Who won? <laughs> How, I mean, we've had like, we've had raffles where there was like 90 people were in the list, right? And he still comes out and he wins. Distant temples. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please pick me my lotto numbers. And if I win, you can't have any of it. Distant temples, you are yet again a winner. Well done, pal. And thank you for uh, the hundred dollars. Right. Yeah, so basically I just uh, uh, built the building in the live demo, so I put the foundation and uh, put the whole structure uh, on it, so yeah, it works. But not sure <laughs> why you wouldn't, uh, why you couldn't uh, do that. Basically, you're saying it's me. You're saying I broke it, which is which is <laughs> probably true. All right, let's try and here we go. Uh, you can also define uh, how far you should be to build the building uh, and uh, what will be available at the last stage. So you can define like uh, portals which uh, can have uh, multiple phases, multiple stages. Uh, you are not able to move while you are building to not uh, uh, break the building. Yeah. You can also define how much time it will take to uh, to build that that building. Uh, no, something okay. strange happened. Try, it, to just, uh, try to just try to just jump on it, on the uh, maybe the definition of the uh, of the distance is too far. 
And let's try again. No, no that's not <laughs> not it. Ah, <laughs> uh, distance numbers is written up random. If those numbers actually win for anyone, <laughs> on, on all the different countries everyone's in, that would just be weird. I'm gonna write. I'm writing those down. You know what? Are you taking the photo? <laughs> Um, Never know. <laughs> it doesn't even go up to 64. What the hell is that one? Whose lot of numbers go up to 64? <laughs> yep, um, if those who didn't see, Fresh Meat has been promoted. Fresh Meat is now a mod on the Discord and on Twitch because he is so wonderful. He is wonderful. And he's, and he's Canadian, which means he's always going to be polite to everyone. Yeah, you can try to build uh, another building. I think it's one stage only. Um, where was that? Hang on. Is this a toilet? Yeah, that's the smaller one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's an NPC guarding the toilet. Hello. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Wonderful. Yeah, so you can, for example, design uh, the marketplace where you are just uh, putting some things together, bringing more uh, materials, and at the end, the merchant will show up. Uh, the same and the same logic uh, can be applied to, uh, for example, uh, teleports to another uh, instances, or uh, you can build the warehouses, storages, and such, so you can uh, store your items uh, within, for example, chests or uh, or banks. Oh, man, that's awesome. Uh, Mark, welcome. You're late. Where have you been? Uh, is this your game? No, this is not my game. This is Adivism. It's an MMO creator for Unity. So you can get, somebody can give me an ad exclamation mark Adivism in chat. Uh, these are the guys who are the new owners of Adivism. They're actually making their own MMO game. It's called World of Heroes, and you can see it on their website. Um, I should actually stick that in the chat as well. If I, where's, here we go. If we, how do, how do I get a link to your, to your World of Heroes website? Scroll right down to the bottom. Is it, where is it going to be? No, it's not uh, in the Atavism. It's you didn't link it to your own. <laughs> Guys, self-promotion, come on. Yeah, still uh, two different products. All right, World of Heroes, uh, PL. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, but for, but for sure we will uh, put some uh, menu at the top uh, of, the, of the page, uh, like made with Atavism or something like that. Yeah, you need you need you need to put you need the circle of of life in your marketing strategy, because this is um, people are always going to ask what game has been made with Adivism. So um, can we get can I get hands in chat of people in chat who are using Adivism today or have have who have used Adivism before? Put your hands in chat. Wave them. Wave your hands just like you just don't care. If you want to. Obviously, if you're using this and you and you want to keep it a secret and pretend that you did everything yourself, then then keep sitting on your hands. All right, I'm jumping up here again. Tim Tim Spurgeon's is the veteran. He is the veteran. Waving distant temples is waving his hands around. Who's just won some store credit? I know where that's going to be spent then. Um, Tim is waving. So there's. You, you have a nice little section showcase and right at the top of the showcase world of heroes dark times kid waving we've got a lot of people in chat who are existing users of atavism we've got people in chat who've never heard of it before um i think we're bringing people together and raga steve is just installing the demo nice one yeah, I have to say that we are proud with uh, uh, our community, from our community, because yeah, if we can see that uh, some uh, even uh, veterans, Atavism veterans, are coming back to, to Atavism because uh, 
uh, they heard about uh, a new version, they want to see the, the progress, they want to see the fixes and improvements. Uh, the developers which are uh, with us from the, like I say, beginning, but it's since November 2017, uh, they are really helpful for uh, these guys. They are uh, uh, giving many information how to proceed uh, uh, and uh, how to make it work with new versions. So. Um. Question, can you make this into a first-person camera as well? Yes, it's possible. So you can make a first-person MMO without, without uh, much work. Yes, exactly. You can, you can also uh, make a, a click-to-move uh, controller, so actually it's out of the box in Atavism. Uh, I think uh, uh, Neo Jack Entertainment made uh, uh, his game R called Arcfall with click to move controller. Um, yeah, and Ma Mark's asking, what language are they? Um, the the server's Java, I think, isn't it? Yes, correct. And everything else is just C sharp inside Unity, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you're asking where they're from, the lads are from Poland. Um, now, you might be like, "Really?" But well, that's an Irish accent. You need to go. <laughs> you need to go back and watch the vod. You need to watch this from the start. So after we finish, before you go to bed, go back and watch everything again from the beginning to to hear these stories because these just I have still got a massive smile on my face. Um, it reminds me, of, I had a neighbour. And she had the strongest Irish accent, strongest Irish accent. Um, and she was from London, born and raised in London, but she got married and moved to, uh, to Ireland. And she picked up that accent in only a few years. Like she delved right in and embraced it. And you would not think of it that she wasn't a, you know, born and raised native Irish lass. So, well... I I personally, from my my experience here in Ireland, there is like few areas when you have like my accent is more from Dublin, but there is also a accent from uh, Cork, what is the other side of Ireland, but there is a very very strong accent in Donegal area. One time when I go there just to see the country. Uh, I just needed to some find some direction, so I stop to just on one guy farm. And I just asked him how to get to this park. After 15 minutes of of his talking, I just understand two and a half kilometers right. <laughs> it's literally like combined kind of English with a mix of Scottish, Welsh, and and. Donegal. <laughs> it was a weird, let's like say, I understand, right, two and a half kilometers. That's all. <laughs> That's all you needed. There you go. You, did yep. you find the place? No. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, two GPS, one in car, one in a mobile phone, <laughs> a website, no way. And the local didn't help too much. Michael, maybe in another instance. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> all right, so this is, it's very powerful. I think obviously one video of us playing um, together is never going to delve in to everything that you can do or even to scratch the surface of Atavism. So where can people go to find tutorials and videos on how to use Atavism? Yeah, so right now uh, we are also filling that gap uh, and we got new uh, wiki our documentation website. It's uh, wiki.atavismonline.com. So you can find uh, uh, documentation there. And uh, <laughs> Michael is <laughs> one of the author of a um, uh, tutorial series which will be uh, presented really soon. Uh, so we are refreshing information about Atavism because it's a whole new demo. 
uh, new features, so uh, we want to update those uh, tutorials which uh, previous owner made before, and uh, they will be presented really soon. Yes, I I apologize for my accent on these tutorials. Really apologize, <laughs> but it is hard coded now, so I can't wait. I honestly <laughs> cannot wait. Um, you've got these are. Hang on, when was it? A second ago. Available in English and Chinese. Yes, it's a part of the uh, translation right now. So uh, only the first page uh, is in Chinese. Uh, but uh, uh, we will make a marketing uh, in China uh, really soon. That was going to be one. Of my next question was like, what markets are you aiming now that you've taken over the reins of Adivism? Where are you aiming to uh, to hit first? Um, so right now, yeah. China. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we heard that. Uh, uh, there are many developers which uh, would like to use Atavism, but uh, uh, the language barrier is uh, yeah, it's not uh, not good for them. Uh, they they can't speak English, can't understand English uh, sometimes. So yeah, we decided to uh, also translate it uh, uh, to China, to Chinese. Wow, there's a there's a lot of people living in China. So that's a lot of customers you got once you uh, tap that market. Yes, and they love playing the MMO games. So. Is that a bigger market than the Koreans? Because aren't the Koreans the, the kings of the the MMOs? Yeah, well, I yeah. yeah, I think that if the product going there to Asia, even one developer, they can actually talk in some ways to each other. So they are releasing games and they are releasing also translations like on one of the packages that we have integrations you can do just uh, you know simply translation in in spreadsheet and it will just make the game international so the guys from china can just build the game and it could be available for every country but the, the same is with the guys from states or from europe you know if you want to make a game just need to make it available in kind of local language. There's a, there's a lot of information. I'm just scrolling in while I'm listening to you. So there's a load of stuff on the wiki. So how out of date is the wiki? I know you're saying that it needs updating, but like if we downloaded today Adivism and to start playing, is this still usable to, to get started with Adivism? Yes, we are preparing uh, getting started uh, getting started tutorials uh, right now. It's in the process, so uh, yeah, it should be available soon. But uh, beside that, uh, uh, on the wiki you can find uh, start playing with Atavism. So you can just uh, head into setting up world, uh, and here is playing your game. So it's uh, basically how to control your character, the chat commands, uh, uh, how to get items, and so on. And uh, regarding installation process, we got two uh, documentations. Uh, first one is designed for uh, installing uh, Atavism on virtual machine, uh, which I mentioned before. So we got CentOS and we got Ubuntu. Uh, and uh, second version, it's in the uh, getting started section, yes, Atavism premises, and we got Atavism virtual machine and uh, simple installation, where a simple installation is designed for uh, users which want to use Atavism, for example, in cloud, uh, where you, they will have to take care of uh, uh, all requirements which are necessary for Atavism, for example, MySQL or Java, uh, installation, but there is a step-by-step -step tutorial or documentation how to proceed with that, so uh, I'm sure that developers will handle that. And there is for, uh, uh, like I could say, uh, less advanced users or hobbyists uh, which I want to use Atavism as well. Uh, they don't need a cloud solution uh, and more uh, expenses, so they can use uh, 
our pre-made virtual machine, which already uh, has all requirements in place. So you have uh, MySQL, Java, and all uh, other uh, elements. It's almost uh, a semi-automatic installation process. Yeah, it was really. I have to say that was that was really easy. I actually should do a video on that one day. Um, you got in the set installations preferred operating system. And you've got here a uh, 64-bit Linux tested on CentOS Ubuntu Debian. But in chat, um, you said that you, it was people asked the question, could you use this on Windows? Uh, previous uh, version of Atavism was uh, supported uh, on Sigvin, uh, but uh, it caused really huge pain for developers because Sigvin is using the same ports as uh, the same network and ho ports as uh, host or workstation on which you are uh, using it. So uh, users uh, which were using Skype or any like uh, interfering, uh, uh, inter interfering uh, software, they had uh, issues with ports mostly. So we decided to not uh, uh, officially uh, support it anymore uh, from the uh, version 2018.1 uh, but it's possible to run it uh, you just need to have uh, like more knowledge about which ports are using by what program or just adjust the ports in Atavism which is also possible but it's easier really easier to use uh, uh, Atavism virtual machine because you can just run it uh, on your Windows uh, workstation there is no port collisions because uh, you are using the separate virtual machine. So this, it's like uh, it's behaving like the separate system, and uh, you can make snapshots. Uh, it's free. You can use uh, uh, Oracle VirtualBox, which is free. You can use uh, CentOS or Ubuntu with updates, which are free. So it's basically easy to maintain, uh, and with snapshots, as I said, you can just uh, make a snapshot of, or of a virtual machine and uh, go back to the point, uh, to any point in time, uh, to any snapshot uh, which you want. For example, if you are doing some upgrades, you can make a snapshot, uh, do uh, some changes, and if something uh, goes wrong, you can revert that back uh, within just three clicks. So it's pretty, pretty simple and easy to, to maintain such a virtual machine. And also it's easier to just move that environment to other machine because you will just export that virtual machine and import it in uh, another environment, for example, also uh, in server environment. You have to say it was, it was really easy to set up. I, was, I hadn't played a, with setting up uh, an Ubuntu virtual machine in, in many years. Um, I was chatting off off the stream and I, I had an issue once with Ubuntu about five years ago and I haven't forgiven it since and to be fair it was Eclipse more than Ubuntu but it was, I was running it on Ubuntu so I you know that took the, the, the brunt of my anger and I just you know I haven't forgiven it but I, I think I forgave it today because it was really it literally was one two clicks a couple of tip taps on my keyboard and away we went we had a we had our atavism server up and running it was so easy, ridiculously easy. So much so that even if I was going to do a video on it, that video would probably last three minutes. It was that easy. And most of that video would be me doing an introduction. So, yeah, if you are umming and ahhing, get yourself VirtualBox and then just get the uh, the pre-made virtual machines from the guys at Atarism that's available in your downloads when you have an account. So easy. All right, let's do the last giveaway because we had some people who have missed the last one. Uh, we've got people who haven't won. But those who have won, sit on your hands, because you're already winners. Distant. So if he, if he typed in exclamation mark raffle, every time there was a raffle, I think he'll win every time. All right, so let's 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 do... Oh, before that, don't forget, if you do exclamation mark flips, it, it shows you how many flips you've earned. And flips are things that you can use to redeem... Um, and ask questions and do stuff. Rap. You can you can gamble your flips. I basically I've got no idea what we're supposed to use these flips for. There's a feature in 
in this add-on on Twitch and we can make a currency as is called flips because of asset flips. I thought that was funny and um, shows you how long you've been watching. Um, you redeem your flips and one day we're going to do something funky with them. Who knows? But for now, let's start a raffleage. All right, let's reset. And my mouse is messing up again. Really, I need to apologize to this mouse because it doesn't like me. It did something. All right, so let's start the last raffle. Exclamation mark raffles to join. Good luck to everyone. The raffle is open. Who's first? Oh, Sengoku beat fresh meat. You're getting slow, mate. You're getting slow. All right, good luck to everyone. Let's pop back inside to uh, the Unity window. So um, when I was playing about earlier, there's this character selection scene. And then there was also the Uma character selection screen scene. Yes, exactly. So you don't have to use Uma if you're using Atavism, I think that, to make that clear. No, of course not. Uh, Atavism uh, supports also uh, normal models, like we uh, we could see in the de in the live demo. Or uh, basically, the base uh, Atavism package uh, doesn't include Uma at all, so you can add it if you want it uh, if you want to use it. But it's not uh, a requirement to to do so. And the Uma that you're using is the one from the asset store, not the one from the GitHub repo. So it's the official. Um, stable build. Yes, correct. Um, there's a lot of funky stuff in Uma with recipes in, and before the chat, um, we were talking offline, and it just made me chuckle that you were saying that you guys, because you've been using Adivism for a long time now, you uh, and, and Uma, you made your own extensions on the Uma. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do, do you want to just do you want to just tell the chat? <laughs> Yeah, we started uh, uh, of implementation uh, Uma, uh, Uma uh, version 2.5 and because we are lacking some features, we implemented uh, or designed some uh, feature like uh, a wardrobe uh, so we could just disable a few parts of uh, or elements of Uma uh, uh, at, uh, at the one uh, time. And uh, we also were able to uh, just uh, combine a few elements like uh, gloves and uh, top of armors, for example. Uh, so they could uh, they could be put as a one item, as a one uh, model on the character. Uh, while guys, uh, Uma guys, uh, after a while they designed uh, their own wardrobe. So. We decided to uh, implement the newest uh, Yuma 2.7 version, so and probably will follow uh, uh, follow the the Yuma guys, and uh, we will improve it or uh, upgrade it to the newest version when it will be released. So they are they are working all the time doing updates, and we've got a couple of guys from the Yuma community who uh, pop in every now and again. Uh, there's Secret Anorak and Kenamis, two legends of the Uma community who like to pop in and say hi. Don't know if we've got either of those legends in, in chat at the moment. But Fresh, if you want to do a shout out to Secret Anorak and if you, somebody can give me an exclamation mark secret because he's got a YouTube channel himself where he does tutorials on Uma and you can learn how to be an Uma legend yourself. If somebody wants to give me an exclamation mark secret in chat. And don't forget, do your exclamation mark raffles to be in with a chance to win. There you go. Thank you, Gilda. So do your exclamation mark raffles to be in with a chance to win the last Okay, everyone, that was it for part two. For part activism. three is just around um, the corner where we check out base building. Although my sliders don't seem to be mucking my face up that much on this one. All entries have stopped. Let's. Oh, can I get a drum roll? Somebody, I really should get some sound effects. That would be funky. All right, so let's drum roll, please. And the winner is. Don't forget, you need to be a follower if you're going to win. 
So make sure you've you followed. Dark Times Kid. Dark Times Kid. Congratulations. You are a winner. Well done. And you're an, or you're an Atavism user. So that store credit is going to be well spent, I do believe. So Dark Times Kid. Drop me a private message and drop me a message on Discord as well. If somebody wants to do an exclamation mark Discord in chat, um, come onto the, our Discord channel and say hi. And then um, drop me a message on Twitch. Just give me a private message. Say, give me a whisper. It's called a whisper on Twitch. So just click on my name and say hi. All right, lovely. Brilliant. That is, those are three lucky winners. Congratulations, everyone! And thank you for these uh, for these vouchers. Much appreciated. So um, on this, yeah, I'm, I'm moving these sliders for the face, and just notice that my face doesn't seem to be deforming. Have I just gonna found another bug? Or it can be uh, defined uh, where you can define the uh, how much uh, the sliders will change your character. So. Uh, it's not like uh, from zero to one, for example, but it can be uh, really, really subtle uh, ah, change. Okay. Uh, yeah, that one's moving it yeah. really subtly. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the nose is changing. So yeah, probably for for the other uh, parameters, it can be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> My guy's beautiful. He is beautiful. Elvis is back. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that he. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not like this. <laughs> I can't. I can't say. I'm pretty sure he didn't look like that towards the end, and he was sitting on the toilet. Um. All right. Okay. It's Elvis. Um. There you go. <laughs> Elvis sideburns. Let's log in with Elvis. Look at him. He's he's a hunk. It's a hunk of hunk of burning love. And uh, talking about hunk of hunk of burning love, I think we've um, bothered you both long enough. So you've got the World of Heroes, um, which I'll stick a link back into chat. Let me just grab that. World of Heroes, is is it currently available to play now? Can we just click? There's a big Play Now button on the website. Yes, but uh, it's not available. Uh, we are in the closed alpha stage uh, right now, so we are still testing. And uh, yeah, it will be available uh, probably this year. But of course, uh, atavism uh, and taking over atavism uh, also caused some delay uh, with World of Heroes because yeah, it's also a lot of work. Well, I'm sure everyone who's uh, using Atavism appreciates you guys. Like they said in chat earlier, I can't remember who said it, but somebody said it. You guys saved Atavism was the exact words. So uh, I'm sure everyone who's an ad existing Atavism customer and a possible one in the future, thanks you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Although, to be fair, if you're using it yourself, you did kind of save it for yourself too. So you're a customer at the end of the day. But there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming in. Thank you. And um, have a nice time. Yeah, thank you, everyone. That was a pleasure to chat with you. All right, guys. I'll catch you later. See you. Well, everyone, that was the last part of my interview with the developers of the world of Heroes games that have taken over Activism. So they are the new Activism devs. So remember, if you do like to see more of these videos, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all of your friends, your neighbours about these these videos and these live Twitch streams on all the w's.twitch.tv slash the messy coder. Don't forget, 9 p.m. UK time. That's uh, 1 p.m. Pacific time. 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern. I think I'm getting good at this. I'm going to see you there. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. 
And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.